When alcohol is consumed, it travels through the esophagus to the stomach. While some absorption occurs here, most of the ethanol passes into the small intestine, where it is rapidly absorbed into the portal vein. This vein leads directly to the liver for first-pass metabolism. The alcohol that bypasses this initial breakdown enters the systemic circulation, where the heart distributes it throughout the body, including the brain. In the brain, ethanol alters neurotransmission by enhancing the inhibitory effects of GABA and blocking the excitatory effects of glutamate, slowing cognitive function. Back in the liver, a two-step process occurs inside cells called hepatocytes. First, the enzyme ADH converts ethanol into acetaldehyde, a toxic compound. Then the enzyme ALDH converts acetaldehyde into non-toxic acetate. High consumption overwhelms this system, causing a toxic buildup of acetaldehyde. This process also triggers body-wide reactions. Blood vessels dilate, the kidneys excrete more water due to hormonal suppression, and the gastrointestinal lining becomes irritated. Over several hours, the liver metabolizes the remaining alcohol, and the body gradually returns to normal.